Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Path Battle Keymaker Enhanced Edition with me, Bring It Dawn. Uh, so let's talk to Bakken. Uh, Bakken smiles at you. Oh, it's you. Want to buy anything? Uh, Bakken, how would you like to become my court alchemist? The old man appears at you with an inquisitory squint. A court alchemist? Me? That'd be a first. Bakken finally sighs and waves his hand. Gah, fine. Come up, May. You've been kind to me. Kill those darn spiders and brought an old man some berries. I'll work for you. Just one thing, though. I need a new laboratory. Some place to keep all my bottles and ingredients. A workshop, yes. And as for me, don't you worry. I'll do my part. Okay. So we're going to head back towards the uh, capital. We'll stop at a couple areas on the way. Not all of them, but some. I don't want to risk getting a uh, party wiped without... Because we're, we're missing somebody. And Mary's down for the count. Uh, she might have to remain dead for a while because we don't have enough money to buy any... Uh, scrolls to bring her back so yay some stuff going on in the kingdom hey good job tristian shovel lance that's an opportunity that i don't care about proposal for cooperation also an opportunity I'm not gonna worry about opportunities they don't all they do is give you a bonus but they can't hurt your stats problems can hurt your stats if you don't uh, address them. So in the beginning, you should really just be focusing on your uh, problems. We'll get to the Bogger Towning Grounds, and then we'll just keep going. I don't think there's any reason to visit Trade Guard. We'll give it a shot. Um, but I don't think that there's any... Alright, let's quick save. I don't know how tough these guys are. Share your will. My skills are at least for our current level. It's time to act. Again, we'll play it a little safe. I'm always ready. Their life ends here. Taste my fury. Alright, it's not that bad. I think we've got hit here yet. You know what? We're heading back to the capital. I'm gonna just grab all the uh Wretched all the loot. Things. Bring protection plus one. Does anybody need that? Yeah, sure. That wasn't too bad. We ran into some boggards elsewhere. I think earlier in the Let's Play. And they were, uh... Some pretty nasty enemies, so... I'll take care of it. Ah, test of my Despicable. abilities. I cannot wait to level up one more time so I actually start hurting these guys. My next level up, I get Death Strike, which allows me to apply my Dexterity modifier to my damage. So, sitting for seven and stuff, I'll be hitting for I don't know much more. All right, who could use a Cloak of Resistance? I think it's more important on him. Uh, his spell is a little more uh, important for combat. I'm there. Oh, her heal is very good, Ask, so. And I shall answer. Maybe not. All right, then this whole area explored. Oh no, not this I corner over here. I must. All right. Some moderate loot.
Now, sadly, most of the areas that I want to go are off to the east a little ways. Alright, let's run around. I don't think this is any uniquely named... Yeah, there's any unique uh, NPCs at Trade Guard. Because Trade Guard is supposed to be the. Uh... Alright, Your Grace, thank you for finding time to visit this humble corner of your God's blessed barony. How can I be of service? Uh, what services do you offer? I say various divine spell scrolls. Okay, yeah. That's what every cleric says. Yeah, 6,000. Cannot afford that. I could sell some stuff and try and get it, but... We're just gonna hold off. In due time. In the future, uh, I, bet, I think every other town except for this one has uh, unique NPCs you can talk to who become your artisans. Actually, speaking of that, I need to build Bakken's um, laboratory. Let's take care of that real quick. So I found out a little bit about how artisans work. Um, upgrading their shop doesn't affect your chance of getting their masterwork, I don't think. It's only... Um, Upgrading their shop. I cannot afford it. I have negative 18. I must have missed something in the uh, Kingdom update. One of the events took uh, took money away from me. So let's, uh, let's exit and buy some real quick. Do I have to be in the capital to do it? I might need to be in the capital to do it. Alright. See, so we haven't been to the pine patch, so we'll stop by there as well. But yeah, upgrading the uh, the workshops for the artisans only increases their like the tier of equipment they give you. Only it affects the masterwork. The masterworks follow if you dare has something to do with the um uh, obviously their quests. Every artisan has their own quest, and then there's also the sorry I keep getting sidetracked mentally. Uh, they're, the region upgrades. The region upgrade that the town belongs to. I, do I think there's two of them for each Interesting. town. What's that? Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, the region upgrades affect the, your chance at masterwork. There's like six wickets you have to hit to get a masterwork. And then you also can't demand a certain type of item from the artisan you tell them to work on whatever they want to work on and then they bring you the uh, the masterwork there's an imprint on the ground near the empty chest looks like another chest of the same size recently sat beside this one I guess that's the one that I found yeah went all over there's one there, there's a chest up here, a chest up here. There's nothing up here, let's double check up here. I'm off. Can't see past the trees, I don't know if there's any... Anything that stands out. Go 
we're gonna exit this way? Guess not. Okay. Let's go back up this way. So I think that's everything for the masterworks. Uh, artisan quests, uh, build their workshop, allow them to work whatever they want to work on, and then the, I think there's two region upgrades for each region. And obviously the uh, the kingdom stats have to be a certain... I've heard it was 10, but I think I read that it was 8 uh, for the masterworks. Adventures can wait. I could try to go to trail. And let's just go back to the uh, Resting capital. Be nice. We're almost Don't there. We'll rest up. You are so kind, so naive. But there are many evil people in the world. Will your goddess be able to protect you from them? I pray for her to grant me patience, not protection. One day all this will end, and then you will be the one in need of protection. Oh man. Okay. Oh, 16 hours. Jeez Louise. I'm in my capital. What do you mean I was attacked? Let's make this quick. Ah, oh, well. Why don't we set up camp? Honestly, I need to have a nice long talk with the city guard. I should have just went into my capital and rested. I don't know why I didn't. Because I need to get another companion anyway. For the, uh... For the hilltop. Because it's a pretty tough fight, and having only five companions is going to make it even even tougher. Alright, uh, let us... Where is it at? Here. Get rid of her, and bring Reg in, because I didn't memorize spells for... Uh... Actually, you know what? Let's bring Valerie. Or do I need DPS? No, we have enough DPS. If Valerie can tank, we should be fine. Alright, to the, uh... Is this way faster? Okay, let's get some buffs going. We just gonna put. Is this communal? Yeah. And. Anything is possible. You have my I am your shield. All right, let's uh set this up real quick. Before I forget. Her up front, followed shortly behind by me. Let's stagger it a little bit. Have Jathal back here. Something like that. The old quick save. I'm All right, Valerie, see. head on in. This will be quick. Let us strike as one. This All right, will and hurt. you hold on to your magic missiles for right Serves now. You right. Get some wolves out here. Alright, and we probably should have fireball back here as well. As long as all these guys hold position. Uh eh, we don't need to do it right this second. No, we're already started. Doom Spider does not look good. Let's see if she can heal herself. Probably not. 
short time that we have uh, left. Let's go ahead and take care of that with Magic Missile if we can. And... Cause fear to it. Good, good, good. She can't heal herself real quick in battle. Why is the magic missile missing? Does it have shield on it? This is where I step in. She get hideous laughter. No, his laughter does not work on her. Serves you right. Hmm. Alright, she's still only focusing my Baron, which is A-OK -okay for right now. I should have planned for this a little better. Oh, this isn't going great. <laughs> Should have saved the fireball. Okay, everybody, I'm about to die. No, oh, no, I'm not dead yet. Now I'm dead. Okay. Yeah, I should have planned a little better. I need to get on Silky as soon as she appears and ignore the Doom Spider. Something bothering you? Not like this really matters here. In due time. You cannot stand against me. All right, can save that for Serve Silky. Right. This will hurt. We have delay poison on, so I'm not worried about any of the. Uh... Not really worried about taking hits from the spiders. Everybody immediately get on her. Like, not messing around here. And let's see if we can cause fear. You swap to this. Last wishes. <laughs> Alright, I regret that because all those sneak attacks we just took. <laughs> Alright, try to cause fear again. Alright, Silky's down. That's just the Doom Spider. Easy peasy. Let's see about causing fear. We'll even try Castigate. Laughter wouldn't work on the spider here. Use that. Uh, try Ray of Sickness. Perfect. Or 
Wyvern skin cloak. What does that do? Just do this. This cape looks waxed. Uh, this cloak grants its wearer plus two enhancement bonus on natural armor and plus four resistance bonus on saving throws against poison, sleep, and paralysis. Oh, pretty good. Very specific, though. It doesn't help all of his saving throws. Which I don't know if is the greatest thing for... Uh, I think it looks a little better. It matches his outfit. I guess that's more important. I think Ruler's Mantle is still better right here. I'm a little torn about it. It's enhanced with the natural armor. He gains one extra armor class, which is really good. I guess I just wait till I find an amulet of natural armor plus two. Like, that's that's probably for the best. Now she doesn't need any saves against poison or anything because she's undead. Sleep and paralysis, though. Yeah, I don't know. Here. What does she have? Eh, whatever. Alright, there we go. What does this say? A fragment of an ancient pillar covered with eroded letters of an unknown language. Alright, we'll do it once around the area. I don't think there's anything here. But it's possible I've missed it in my previous playthroughs. So again, I haven't used Jaythal before, so having her uh, ridiculously, ridiculously high perception on hand is a good idea. Alright, so my next priority should be to do the uh, the main quests. Troll Trouble. We could also do the Verdant Chambers, but you can put that off, I think, for as long as you want. Um. I don't think anything adverse happens if you put it off. Uh, it might be worth going to the old Mesa real quick. Actually, let's go to a fort across the Skunk River. Uh, we need to probably rest before we go there, though. Yeah, see this area next, then we'll. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to do it without a Miri. Because you need, you need. There's a strength check. I guess I could grab Reg. For the strength check. And for some DPS. It's always welcome. Alright, oh, quick save and. Serves you right. Their life ends here. Alright, hold on. He should have. Oops, stop using that. <laughs> you deserved it. Repent. Just die, Sentinel. Alright, so I go take care of this guy. He's uh He's messing up our back line. Generous to them, for I am not. 
Okay. Rough stuff. The camp looks habitable. Its owners must be somewhere nearby. The gnomes fought fiercely, but eventually they were outnumbered. A couple of corpses are badly burned by acid and alchemical fire. Mouthwatering broth is simmering in the pot. A crowbar? Oh, I don't remember finding that right here. Guess that works. In due time. I see something. A sigh. Follow if you dare. All right. Request. Um. Ask, and I shall answer. The heal is so good. It's time to act. Let's make this quick. for taking that damage for me. Oh, he might die. Son of a gun, man. The only reason I brought him was for the... Mm. It's really inconvenient. He should have cat... I should have put another uh, mirror image on him. And I really don't want to reload when people go down, but that's... I need him for the upcoming event. Where's my last load at? Or last save, I guess, not load. The whole reason I brought him was for the, uh... Interesting. Together coming thing. He should have Blur on himself. I'm going to put it on my main character there. Alright, there we go. All right, let's try this again. I'm there. It's time to act. Their life ends here. All right, Jay thought you actually cast a bless real quick, and then we'll do. This will hurt! There we go. Aren't wolves the worst? The only reason I uh, brought Reg was for the strength checks coming up. I guess you don't have to succeed in it, but it it's nice too. I do what so if I, I can must. anticipate some of the uh, the skill checks, then I'm gonna try. Because it's a game about manipulating your role. I'm off. We go down. You should take a look. Renowned Explorer. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. You should have run! I 
And again, I really like the blood swirls going down the water like that. That's so cool. Especially for a game like this. Like, it's just, I don't know. That's a very nice detail. So, the gnome invites some of his friends. Stupid, slow, sluggish gnome. Gnome! Stupid. There's a purple kobold on the riverbank. It looks just like your old acquaintance, Tartuccio. Kobolds want this cart. Kobolds shall have it. The horse skull hides most of the kobold's face, but you see his vicious eyes glinting through the empty sockets staring at you. By orders of myself, the glorious King Tartuk, the kobold pounds his chest with his fist. Tartuk, King. The head of the gnome expedition wipes his brow and glares at the kobold. This bastard is the one talking our ears off while the rest of them are trying to steal our cart. King Tartuk. The gnome looks at you and winks. What do you say to a bit of regicide? Yeah, Tartuccio, I recognize you. What is this new disguise, and why are you not dead? How dare you speak like that to King? Kobolds, attack. Sheerdaz. Sheerdaz, Sheerdaz. What? Sheerdaz. Like, why don't these guys worship uh, Reg here? He's a Dr Draconic Blooded Orc. J thought about taking a lot of damage. I should probably get my character up there. Oh well, whatever. We should be fine. Uh, J Thog and activate that. See what your entrails look like. Jay! This body has oh, It's fine. J Thog taking the damage is fine. She can't die, so. At the end of the day, it all works out. I really, really want Death Strike so I can hurt these guys. Because, well, except for right there, my main character hits very often, just not for very much. See you soon enough. This is not over. All right. I'm there. Next step is to save the cart from the river, which requires uh, strength checks. That's why it's a quick save. I think this is locked, because uh, What's-Her-Face is trying to unlock it. Or not. Shard of Night's Bracers. Okay. I'll be there in a second, uh, Jubilos. Let me just finish clearing out the map over here. I like having all these shadows here. Alright. Oh boy. It's quite the paragraph. While the gnomes are busy fighting the kobolds, furiously cursing and diligently punching their unwelcome guests right in their dra dragonish snouts, the cart was all but forgotten. The unwitting cause of the fight, it was being dragged away by the scared ponies when it slid down the ford, sinking all the way up to the coachman's seat in the in the river. This is where the Skunk River flows into the Tusk water, and the current becomes excessively spiteful, cold, stubborn, and turbulent. Having taken hold of the gnome's cart, the Skunk River must have decided to drag it down amid all the commotion, but it was caught in the act. The surviving gnomes, led by the head of the gnome expedition, an extremely loud and crabby fellow, but not without some managerial talent, uh, were able to catch the cart before it floated away. Faces red and grunting from the strain, they struggled to keep it from drowning entirely. Just then, a package fell in, in the, into the water. With a heartbreaking splash, it vanished beneath the current, only to resurface ten meters down the river. No, the head gnome expedition. The head of the gnome expedition moaned as he glowered at the package. That was alchemy and life, the latest issue. After plunging into the cold river, the ponies immediately lost their nerve. Swiveling their ears and twitching, they tried to chew through the reins and throw off the load. Why are you, still, why are you just standing around? Go on, help them. The head of the gnome expedition was visibly dissatisfied as he shouted. Uh, we set the crowbar under the cart's wheel. Uh, set under the wheel, the crowbar wedged into position against the stones of the riverbed, uh, making the process of pulling the car out of the river easier. Uh, let's see, let's tie a rope to the cart. Uh, one, two, three. And the rope was securely tied to the cart, making it easier to pull out. A good lesson for every adventurer. Never leave home without a rope. Rope is your best friend. And I wholeheartedly agree with that in any RPG. If rope is an item in the game... I don't care what game it is, I try to always keep at least two on me, because you never know. Alright, choose a character. One of us try to jump onto the cart and untie the ponies still standing in the water. 
Uh, yeah, I guess I'll be the one doing it. No lore nature, though. You know, ability and lore nature. Man, if only I had Ekandayo. Let's try it. Oh, wow, I succeeded. What? I rolled... I rolled a 15. Awesome. Alright, Don Victus nimbly climbed onto the roof of the cart and carefully crawled toward the ponies hitched up at the riverbank. The ponies seemed to be relieved to feel a firm hand holding the reins again. The con they, they calmed down at once, this typo, and allowed themselves to be unhitched. In just a few moments, they were standing back at the ford, ready to pull the cart from the river. Alright, um, gathering our strength, we began pulling the cart from the river. If you're certain you're ready, then let's do it. But be careful. Imagine the cart's full of gold, or ale, or some other thing you couldn't bear to lose. Alright, uh, try to pull the cart out. Okay, so I put an edit in. I kept failing the next skill check, and I'm not adverse to use, to save scumming for skill checks, but it's taken me a lot of tries. Um, Charisma, this is a Baron-specific skill check, by the way. Uh, the cart creaked and cracked, sounding as though it were sobbing. The board strained against the combined stress of the rushing water's pull against everyone trying to pull the cart ashore. Unfortunately for the cart, both sides were of equal strength. Something had to be done, or the poor cart would be torn to pieces. Uh, everyone was soaking wet, freezing, and exhausted. The group's initial enthusiasm had all but vanished. They glared at the cart scornfully, ready to give up and forget about it like it was all a bad dream. The Baron decided it was time to raise everyone's spirits, be it with a smile, a noble order, some shouting, or even a good round of swearing. After everyone struggled together for, for a while, the cart made it back out of the muddy riverbed and rolled back onto the rocky ground of the waiting ford prompting some seemingly indignant sloshes and squelches as the river released its trophy and rushed along in search of easier prey. Losing no time, the head of the gnome expedition jumped inside. For a good while, rattling and swearing were all that could be heard from the cart, until the gnome's face finally reappeared from under the rooftop, seemingly satisfied. Almost everything's still in place, he announced, cheerfully, jumping from the cart. It's all wet and crumpled, but at least nothing's missing. Thank you, travelers. If not for your help, guided by my, by my keen supervision, of course, I have to say goodbye to all my possessions. Alright, so the next episode we'll talk to Jubilost. Come here, my valiant savior. Let me have a word with you. Uh, he has a lot to say, so we're going we're gonna to take care of that next episode. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.